Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here, and welcome to a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. And today, you know, is the first, you know, DVD Blu-ray shopping video of 2016, and it is a really, really rainy, rainy day. I think it's like supposed to be raining, like, all day. It's like they're calling it, like, the El Nino and stuff of, like, the rains, like this terrible, like, tropical storm thing going on. So it's going to be, be very careful in this, because it's going to be bad. And people in California, when it comes to driving really are, do not drive well in the rain so you have to be very very careful and they drive way too fast and everything so every time it's like this you kind of dread driving in this because of other drivers around but anyway though guys we're going to go out today see if we can find anything see what stuff you know is out on sale all that kind of stuff i want to show one thing at walmart too like a movie has like a title change there so hopefully they have that because i want to show the case and stuff to show you you know because they like walmart quite often lately has been changing the titles of things for their store like with you know a christmas horror story it's called a holiday horror story but there's another one that they changed in there, so hopefully I have that so I can show you guys that. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And I want to say, guys, you know, thanks a lot, you know, for the nice things you've been saying and, you know, for checking out the People magazine. If you guys haven't heard, you know, if you didn't see my video, check it out. I'm in here, featured in here, in the half their size issue. But thanks again, you know, for all the positive comments about this. Yeah, the main stuff that came out today was, you know, The Visit, which I really like that a lot. And this one, you know, I haven't seen this one, but I've heard a lot of really good things about this. This is cereal. Like, I definitely need to watch this one for sure. I don't see The Green Inferno in here, though. And they have this. I didn't see this edition of The Walk. I think, yeah, this is, yeah, so there is a 3D one. When I reviewed this, I was not, wasn't sure if there was or not. And I know this came out today too, True Detective Season 2, which I haven't even seen the first one, but I heard that the second season was not as good, at least some of the things that I've heard about it was it wasn't as cool and as good as the first one. Into the soup plantation we go. A penny wise the dancing clown, and you're Georgie, so now we know each other. So I ended up getting the salad. Salad, just salad. -y. No, no. If you don't like salad, you just say salad. Plain salad. It's more fun though when you say salad. -y. You add that to everything rather than just going salad. Or if I just did this, bland. Into the Escondido Antiques Mall we go. This is like an old spoon thing. They're kind of like out of like ravenous, like they were, you know, dishing up the, the human being stew with this thing in here. And this is very strange. It's like, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, like warming up their hams by the fire. That's very weird. And look at that thing. That's like from that upcoming movie, The Boy. That's like almost like the real boy doll. Like if I did like a spoof of The Boy, I could get that doll. I was even thinking about like if I did that, and there is one, like a real boy doll. Just like that movie, it could probably come to life and move around and probably kill me in the night. This is sort of like something out of Who Slew Annie Rue? It'd be like if it was in that movie, Who Slew Annie Rue? It'd be like a real, like, you know, mummified baby in there, like in that movie. It's, there's some freaky, kind of weird things in this one. There definitely is some odd antiques in here. And they have super realistic grapes. You know, these are like the most realistic grapes I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, so you almost feel like you could just eat all these things. And here's another really freaky strange doll on here. This one is all full of strange dolls. Look at the face on that one. Maybe that strange face, that doll witnessed the murder and it's like, you know, freaked out by it. And I left and look, another scary doll, another. This is, should be the girl. This would be like the sister of the one and the boy. And there's like a weird talking parrot out here with the gate open. He could like leave if he felt like it. You can leave if you want it, it's open. I've never walked around this whole area. Somehow I never discovered this area in Escondido. It's like, like you see all kinds of like those weird dolls in there and you even see a talking parrot outside that, you know, with the gate open, he could leave if he felt like it. Into Walmart we go. And the main stuff today, like I said, was, you know, The Visit and Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. This is one I really like this one a lot. Really fun zombie film. And, um, you know, The Walk, Cesario, which is one I need to check out at some point because a lot of people have said this one is really good. But I'm sure at some point I'll definitely see that. And like I said, The Visit. And this one called Crying Wolf came out today. I, I'm not seeing the one that I was going to show in the video. I know um, Little Red uh, Rotting Hood came out today, but down here was that it, they called the name like Heavy Metal, um, like some kind of apocalypse or something, but they changed the name. It was originally called, you know, Deathgasm, but they don't have it in here to show you. But this came out today too. 
Condemned, which is one I would really recommend you guys check out. Like, I really, really love this movie a lot. It's a really, really cool one. The other one today was Kill Game. And then this one, I don't know much about this at all. This one, Apparition. I don't know what this one is. And I believe this one is today. And this one is today, too. You know, Ouija Exorcisms. Don't know a whole lot about this one either. But there's a lot of stuff, but like, I might try and go to another one to see, show you guys that cover. And I think this might have been today, too. The Game Makers. And they also, you know, have Green Inferno here as well, which is one I would definitely recommend checking out. Really love this movie a lot. Really, really cool cannibal film. And we're now heading into a thrift store to see if there's anything different in here. Well, in here and see what there is. There's a bunch of like like loose tapes and stuff in here. Like this is a real random one. Tom and Huck. I don't. Know. I always used to like that as a kid, but like some weird stuff in here. Like I don't know. We'll just sort of look through here, and there's some weird AAA real size view or real right road size view or something. There's a weird bootleg in here. A rundown with these strange cheap bootlegs in here. Some weird stuff in here. I don't know. Like, I don't know what half this stuff is. Like, sometimes you just have to like poke through these things you can find some random stuff like look at this like mind steam travels kid safe browser i know that's like something for the, the internet that's like an old web browser thing when they used to like block websites and stuff for the kids and stuff and they used to always talk about that you can learn all your uh, golf tricks here i don't know you want to learn about golf or i don't know and there's another loose disc here some uh some kind of winnie the pooh loose disc Bootleg of Chappelle show. Very strange. Very, very strange things in here. Into FYE we go. I'm gonna just look through here and like I said, every time I come in here, you just basically look for the things that say used. That's pretty much what I do is just like look at every single used one and then see if I can find anything out of print in here or anything. And sometimes they change it out, other times it's like the same stuff you see for months and months and months until you know people go and bring something else in. And it's funny in here they actually sell Blood Rage. So that's actually cool for a really good price, $19.99. I have this, but that's pretty like you know rare to see like a arrow release in here. At least I haven't seen too many, so that's pretty cool they have that in here. That one, though, I highly recommend that for a really great, like, lesser scene slasher movie. In the Best Buy, we go. Man, this truly is the rainiest day I think I can recall ever having in a really long time. I mean, there's certain times when it's coming down, like, I'm, I feel like I'm in Florida with this, like, total, like, tropical storm type rain going on today. It is bad. Well, here's one of the things that came out today. I think this is like an exclusive one, only in Best Buy. This, you know, the Blu-ray in here, Helen Back. I've not heard much about this. It's like a clay animated kind of movie. It sort of seems like Robot Chicken. Like I've seen clips and stuff, but I don't. I've not heard like any reviews of this. If this one's worth checking out or not. Let me know if you guys have seen this one or not, and if this one's any good. And I think this was today as well. It's a pretty cheap price for this, $13.99. The Experimenters. I know this is like a new Winona Ryder movie, but. I don't know too much about this one either. Like if this one, if you guys have seen that one, that's worth watching. This was today too, Joe Dirt too, but I really didn't care for that. But not much else. I think this was today as well. The Scott Eastwood movie, Mercy Plans. I don't know much about this. And they have in here Kill Game. It's so funny, they, I think this is the only place that has it on Blu-ray, the Blu-ray edition of this. This one was okay. I think this was today as well, Over Your Dead Body from um, Scream Factory. Like this one I said earlier too, Condemned. I would really recommend this one. Really, really cool, like street trash slime city movie. And this one today was as well, Deathgasm. This is the one I tried to show you earlier, and I may cut to after this if I do find it in another Walmart, the alternate cover for this. So we'll see. I'll cut now if I actually found it. Well, they had it in here. See, it's an alternate title for Death Chasm. It's Heavy Metal Apocalypse. And this is actually, I looked underneath it, it's, they actually changed it underneath. It's not just a slip cover on it. And here's, you know, a look at the back of it. But it's so strange to see that they actually had to change the title of this from Death Chasm to Heavy Metal Apocalypse. I kind of feel like, I wonder, like, down the line, if, like, these editions are going to be, like, kind of, like, valuable. You know, like, five, six years from now, these kind of, like, alternate variations like this, a holiday horror story. You really wonder, like, is this this one gonna be like kind of rare down the line. It's still the same, you know, cut of the movie and everything, but it's just like the alternate title. I wonder too if like they even have to change the title when it plays, you know, when the movie actually starts. Let me know guys if they actually did or it actually says Deathgasm when it starts. But in here in this other location, they also have, you know, this one that came out today, High School Exorcism and Wrecker, which is like a killer truck movie. 
Well, that's all for this DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video. Thanks again, guys, for watching and subscribing. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Okay.